So I've told you guys that I struggle with my diet a lot, um, and today I was doing really well. Um, I, I spent a couple nights at my friend's house, and we just, uh, you know, stayed up, and I, I brought my canned vegetables, and I, brought, and I uh, tried to get everything healthy from his fridge. During, like, the second, you know, day of, of being at his house, we did, I don't think he really had much healthy food left, so I kind of decided, okay, well, this will be my cheat day. And then today, I... Uh, last night I, I bought a, a bunch of junk food coincidentally and uh, today I ate some of it. And this is not me trying to just like get you to sympathize with me, sympathize with me or like to feel bad for me. It's my, I, I, I made the choices. I, I, I ate the food and I could have gotten healthy food instead. But I do want to kind of make this video to show you and to kind of hold myself accountable. Um, there are some good you know, there's not, you know, healthy food, it's no secret, healthy food does not taste the best. It's not like the greatest thing you're ever going to have. But it, it, it does, uh, you know, having a, a good diet with good foods um, definitely can improve your life. It can improve the way you feel, your emotions. I mean, the way I'm feeling right now uh, is not as good as how I would feel if I ate um, enough of what I, like, really need. Enough vegetables and enough chicken and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I just want to kind of give you guys some tips and some advice on if you are going to fail or if you are going to backtrack, how you can safely do that in, with, while still kind of sticking to your diet. And um, just these are some foods that aren't necessarily healthy for you, but they're very, very fun. Like it's not a big deal. These, these health foods, uh, some, of them, some, of the, some of it is healthy and some of it's just like it's not even really that big of a deal. So, um, with that being said, my name is Carter Owen. I make self-improvement videos trying to help people um, just make, make their lives better and um, feel better and do better and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, if you like that kind of content, go ahead and subscribe. I also do music content. I, I play uh, guitar covers every Monday and I do live streams every now and then of me playing guitar, playing video games, whatever. So, let's get on with this video. Uh, the first thing is Jello. Jello was the first. Uh, uh, <laughs> I didn't know for a while that Jello is actually not that bad for you. Um, I missed the trash can. I tried to throw something in the trash can. I missed it. But anyways, Jello uh, is uh, something that you can eat. It, 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 you can eat like a whole thing of Jello, and that's only like 80 calories if you have like sugar-free Jello. I think that was sugar-free. That did that but um yeah so like jello is really good what jello helps me with is if i'm having a problem which if you guys don't know my problem with food because we, we all have that food of choice that's just like whew, we need like it's and usually it's pretty bad it's pretty bad for you and like we just want it so bad sour candy is my like food addiction like that's like i i love sour candy i, I think i any everything else you could give me a day or two and i wouldn't feel like it any, like even eating that anymore, but I could eat sour candy all day long if I wanted to. Um, so sour candy is definitely very, it's, it's hard. Fruit stuff is like just really, that's what I want to eat. So jello helps with that because it, if it, it, it is made out of gelatin and it's also just like it has, um, it's fruit and stuff like that. So I would definitely recommend jello if you're going to fall back and you want some uh, sour candy, you could just do a jello. Jello is pretty good. Um, and also, there's yogurt. Yogurt's really good too. And yogurt is actually can be really healthy for you. Um, and I'm not talking about Yo Play, I'm talking about Greek yogurt. Um, even though I think Yo, those would also be way healthier options than what most people would choose. So I would definitely say if you're not going to, yeah, I would say even Yo Play's fine. But yogurt's good, right? So like it has a lot of protein in it. That's the first thing. It's not just like a cheat snack. Like the, the yogurt is a is a heavy food. It, it has a lot of protein in it, and you get granola, and you can customize it how you want. Like the yogurt's just a good base. The honey, the the granola, the whatever you want to do, um, and then the other thing is uh, beef jerky. Now I don't know if beef jerky is all that good for you but i don't think it's like super bad either so beef jerky is just like meat you know meat's good for you but don't eat too much of it obviously this is one of those this is red meat so it's like the worst kind of meat you can have but it's you know i love beef jerky and they i wonder if they make like other kinds of animal jerky i, I mean i know they have deer jerky and stuff like that but i wonder if there's like turkey jerky 
because that would be, <laughs> it would rhyme and it would also make sense. It would uh, be probably a lot healthier. Popcorn, I love popcorn. That's my favorite out of this whole. I, I, I love, I, Jello helped me like, not eat sour candy, but dude, popcorn, I love popcorn. I'm a huge movie guy. I like movies, so it's already associated with the movies. And you can get, I think I have, yeah, no. You can actually get, I can't find what I'm trying to find, but I have like, you can get movie theater butter spray. And honestly, butters and oil, it, are, they're not that bad for you as long as the trans fat is like a little bit less. But, it, the, but fat isn't like that bad for you. And then chocolate and bananas. I don't know why I put that down, but I put down chocolate and bananas. Um, chocolate is, is generally, like if you have a, a low amount of it, it's really, it's not too big of a deal. Um, and bananas are good for you. So you can try to do that, like some frozen, like put them in, like cover them in a uh, Nutella or something and then just like freeze it, I don't know. That's something that I'm thinking that I want. <laughs> and then smoothies, which I have not really messed around with s good smoothies yet, like good re smoothie re recipes because I need to get one of those ice cream makers from Ninja, the, the brand of um, the Ninja blenders or whatever. I need to get a ice cream one and then I can fully show you guys about the smoothies because these videos that I've seen about these smoothies are really good. It's just like protein powder, you put the fruit in and the milk and the freaking I don't know, ice, whatever. There's just a lot of different things to it. There's yogurt in it too, I think. But yeah, smoothies to end off my list. So these are just like some, some nice cheat snacks and you can look up some more things for yourself. But I think that uh, when I fell back this time, I was... Well, for, yeah, I fell back and I'm just going to, next time I feel like cheating, I'm just going to try and go straight for like yogurt with some honey if it's like a sweet craving or just any of these options. These are going to be my go-tos when I start to crave junk food because I love junk food and I'm trying to stop eating it. So anyways, that's it. That's the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, remember, it's important to know like you, like you, you do not have to follow these. You, you, you make your own, you can make your own list. You can form your own opinions. But um, this, this is, if, if, you are if you are someone who struggles with junk, junk food and you, you don't want to anymore, I think that these are really good ways of you, you can kind of cheat your mind into thinking, okay, yeah, we're eating something like a little bit unhealthy here. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but I, I think that that's, yeah, that's the video. So thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like this kind of content. Uh, I also have another channel called own co studios which is linked in the description we do like short films there my band is on that channel a lot doing live performances and stuff um, and then also i have a patreon so you can check that out link is in the description to that as well now if you actually sign up for there you will get extras you'll get like news about like what videos are being made um, i'll post on there about like like early uploads you guys will get early uploads um, and all that kind of stuff. So go ahead and if you want to support, go to my Patreon and support and you will definitely enjoy the benefits you get from that. Um, and last thing is just if you post hashtag never giving up um, and post tag me in a post on social media, I will repost that post on my, you know, where any, wherever it is. And um, hopefully we can trade audiences and stuff. And that's, that's kind of, it's, it's, it's a way to grow together with my audience. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, don't you eat that junk food. Don't do it. Don't be like me. I'll, I'll fix it. We're fixing it.